it on this Saturday morning. It is time for Imagine It. Carl Nelson is here, my buddy, old friend, yeah. old pal. We're gonna what have are we fun. doing today, Carl? We're going to have fun with something you can do at home. Okay. Okay. And so I brought in some raw eggs. Okay. okay. So raw that, eggs yes. have crunchy shells. <laughs> yes. Okay. okay. Wouldn't it be cool if you could make a naked egg? Hmm. So now keep this PG, Carl. It is. It is. It's okay. Cool stuff. A naked egg. Here, go ahead and take this. Is an egg that has no shell. Oh. So go ahead and give it a little squeeze, gentle. Okay. Gentle. All really right. Burst it. Sure. Um, if you get some vinegar, mm -hmm. which most people have at home, sure. and just put it in a jar, drop a fresh raw egg in the vinegar, mm -hmm. you'll get these nice bubbles and that calcium carbide, that carbonate that the eggshell is made of, will dissolve. Oh, okay. Okay. And if you ever hard boiled an egg and peeled it, uh -huh. you know, there's like that, that membrane. Thin, yeah. Yeah, yeah. There are two of those membranes inside, and that is the only thing holding that egg together. Wow. In fact, go ahead and try to bounce it. Oh, well, all right. Bounce, not Sorry. throw. Sorry. <laughs> it's a difference. But yeah, I mean, okay. it is. Okay, it, good. It, you know, but that's, that's cool, though. You know yeah. that if you drop it too high, and you just it's see this break. little, that's what was holding it in, just that little thin exactly. membrane. Exactly. Interesting. Now, check this out, though. Kay. The naked egg is actually a little bit bigger than the original egg. So, hmm. what's going on? The membrane itself will allow some things to go in, like water. Okay. So a regular egg inside is about 90% water. Mm -hmm. If you put it in a jar of vinegar, which is about 100% water, mm -hmm. the water will go inside the egg, make the egg swell. Oh, okay. So you can actually get a larger egg. Now, huh. you might wonder, is that really happening, or is there some other trick going mm -hmm. on? So last night, I took one of these naked eggs <gasps> and soaked it in some Ooh. green food coloring. This is very Easter-like, Carl. Very Easter-like, like it is. So we're going to... I'm going to have you pop that. I've never done this before. All right. We're going to see if the innards, yeah, don't get too close. Kay. We're going to see if the innards are actually green. Uh, yes, yes, they, they are. are. <laughs> they are very green. So that proves the whole point that that food coloring is actually moving through the membrane and making the inside green. Yeah, and here's the membrane of that one, bright green. Isn't that cool? Yeah. The opposite thing, this is messy, so I'll pull this out. Okay. The opposite thing is if you take some corn syrup. Ooh. Corn syrup does not have very much water in it at all, and the egg shrivels up. Interesting. So there's just pretty much the yolk inside of there, pretty much just, just a little yolk. bit. We've pulled out most of the water. It's huh. all about osmotic pressure. Okay. So um, that actually will pull the water out. And if we wanted to rehydrate this guy, we could just throw it in a cup of water. The water will move back through the membrane. Now, how long does that process take? You said that you did the green egg overnight? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, you know, this, put the egg in the vinegar. In one day, mm -hmm. swap out the vinegar. Okay. The next day, you will have your naked egg. You'll have an egg that is an just... An egg that bounces if you give it a light toss, not a, a light, slam. A light okay. bounce. Yes, not a <laughs> slam. That's right. Awesome. But, but that, again, that's a cool experiment. You can see how high you can drop the egg before it does burst. Mm -hmm. Sure. And uh, I wouldn't do it with the food coloring. Might be a little bit messy Might be a little bit messy. Yeah. Yes. All right. Sounds good. Well, Carl, thanks so much for coming down. Sure. That's uh, this week's Imagine It. And if you want to head down to the Imagination Station, they are open Tuesday through Saturday. And then on Sunday from noon to 5, that is downtown Toledo. Imagination Station, you guys have the new exhibit down there, correct? Mind Bender Mansion. Yes. It's still there. Awesome. Today is Saturday. If you're Lucas County resident, 12 and under, you get in free. There you go. Carl Nelson. And thanks so much. And for all of those of you celebrating Easter in a few weeks, this might be a good one to do with the kids. Make some naked eggs. All Absolutely. Right. Sounds good. Let's go check in with Dave. He has a check of sports.